All right, here we go again. Another shopping trip at a thrift store in Oregon. This is a thrift store that uh, supports Teen Challenge uh, for men and women who are trying to beat uh, usually drug or alcohol addiction. Uh, first, I wanted to look at the artwork. I like to see what kind of art is available, not only for my own walls, but for selling online. I noticed in the store today they had a big collection of some commercial art, as you see right there in the pile there. So they got a Star Wars canvas there, some things on the wall, but not I'm not seeing anything I really like. Okay, so we'll just head straight to the hard goods where all the ceramics are. This is kind of cute. It looks like it might be vintage, but I am trying to be more selective in what I choose because I don't have a lot of funds to start with. Um, I need to get some stuff sold, build that up. This seemed like a kind of a vintage slash mid-century kind of a feel. Um, you'll see a little later, shortly in this video, there was actually two other matching yellow uh, vases that go with that. Just looking at some cute little vases here, see what's available. This is kind of kind of nice. It has a nice shape to it, and the blue and yellow are really pretty together. Not seeing a whole lot here. There's one of those matching vases from Jolying. Jolying, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> And then I don't pick up the other one, but there is a, a third piece uh, further back there. It's kind of interesting. I don't know. It must have had a drink in it or something. Oh, this is cute. A little... I really like this little bud vase. Or a little vase. Not really for buds, I guess. But never seen... Um, a simple glass vase like this uh, with a little porcelain piece and I'm really surprised to see that the, the little porcelain bud isn't chipped at all. It was in pretty good shape. Let's take another look real quick over here. Blue is the sale price for the week, so that means half off of all blue tag items. Let's just see what we have up here. Oh, that would be a nice, nice goblet uh, fish tank for like a betta fish. That would be a lot of fun to have a betta fish in there. Got a little souvenir piece, little plate, a Lincoln State. Blue tags are half off today. Hand painting. I'm not a real big fan of picking up plates. As I'm sure we all know that plates do not sell well. But if I find something unique enough, interesting enough, then I'm willing to give it a try. That's kind of interesting. Black there. This was dollar fifty. Thinking about that blue vase again. How much do I like it? I only want a dollar for it with the half off price there. It's kind of different, but I'm just not sure. I'm just, I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm real ready yet to make a commitment on the, the vase. I'm just going to put it back. It's kind of cool and super heavy. It's a real heavy glass piece. Try to focus in on the label there with my camera. I think I've reached that age where I need to start wearing my glasses to be able to read better. I cannot read that. But it says, uh, made in Spain, clean by hand, decorative glass. Oh, it's pretty, pretty heavy. It's kind of heavy though. I don't really like the, I don't really care for the color. Kind of bland. That looks vintage. It's 99 cents, but I think, yeah, it's pretty, pretty little flowers, little shell design. Rubbed off. 
But I think I'm just going to leave that one here for somebody else. Not sure what this was. Kind of interesting. I put a candle in it or something. Noritake. I believe that's actually kind of a good good brand. I'll have to go back and look that up. It's kind of a cute plate. Just a little uh, side salad plate or, or saucer. Um, I like those flowers. I think I'm just going to put it in my kitchen. I like to have different different kinds of plates. I don't like to have all the same style of plate. I like to keep things fun and fresh and um, a little bit creative. So I'm going to add that one to my collection. Let's see what else we have. Some just the boxes, tins. Oh, pretty little decoupaged lid on a cardboard box there. Kind of interesting. Feels kind of lightweight. We've got a chip on one of them, but these are measuring cups. A bit pricey, even for half off. I felt like, you know, two fifty each. So that'd be ten dollars for the pair, and it's got that chip there. I'm gonna pass on that. It's like a strange little. It's like a metal plate of some sort, souvenir piece probably. Take a look at some of these vases. That kind of has a 1980s vibe to it, just a little bit with that pink. Some more plates. Kind of pretty. Nice little old plaque about dad. Oh, it's broken. That's too bad. That's really lovely, but unfortunately it has a big old crack down the middle. This is interesting from the 1980s, a souvenir Alaska plaque or trivet. I'm wondering if those are the state fruits and flowers. Let's look at some of these other plates here. Oh, it's got a little kitty on it. Better Homes and Gardens. Better Homes and Gardens. That's sweet. Sweet little wall plaque. what else they have over here nice little pumpkin collection there's some pretty pumpkins we've got a bag full of little white pumpkins here so I'm just gonna take a look at the price normally $13 interesting it's like I like to touch everything when I'm shopping <laughs> Got to feel it, got to pick it up, feel the weight of it, feel, kind of get a sense for the quality. Look at any maker's marks. You know, you got to kind of get a little, little personal, little intimate touch with um, the products when you're out shopping. Oh, this is darling. Someone decoupaged a bee. That's really pretty. All right, let's see what else we have. Party Limited, a little crock there. This is a little plastic or a resin bow by Homco. That's definitely vintage, but I think I'm going to leave it here. It's a great little dish to put your Hershey Kisses in. <laughs> Sweet little duck planter or pot. Looks like it might be vintage. I'm going to think about that one. 
Oh, this is pretty, pretty little flower trinket dish. Let's see if I got anything hiding back here. I am. Um, let's see if we could see the label. Um, Oling, Oling, Oling. Like Must be like a shaker, but it looks almost like it has a lid. Maybe it's two shakers together. She's sweet. I know I've seen these around in the past. Not something I would want to put in my collection, but because she's vintage, I might think about her. That's not a chip there, but the paint got chipped off itself. Just the paint. She's got beautiful eyes, though. I really like those eyes. I kind of gives me like a 1980s vibe. This is interesting. I I need to do some more research to try to figure out what her original purpose is. But she's got holes in that little basket she's holding, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take that and give that a look. She's cute. A little little beanbag shelf sitter duck by Russ. It's a Kathleen Kelly Critter Factory. Made in China, so usually China is an indicator that it's not super vintage. But she sure looks like an oldie, huh? <laughs> Needs a little bit of a clean. I'm thinking about her. She's kind of cute. Sweet little angel. Little palmander sachet potpourri deal. Another little duck, that's cute. That's a sweet little duck. I bet there's a another duck that goes with it. Oh, its tail is busted. That's too bad. But I was going to say, I bet there's another duck that goes with it. And if the tail wasn't busted and the other duck was with it, it'd probably be a better opportunity to pick up. Yeah, it's too bad. Got a little garlic keeper there. Got um, Groot. Is that his name? Groot. Little Halloween piece here. Sweet little iridescent yellow egg for Easter. Old uh, little trinket jewelry box by Lennox. I like that they taped the lid on so they'll tape so that the uh, lid doesn't get lost half off so that'd be like a dollar just for that Lennox piece there but I think I'm gonna pass on it again need to start being a little a little bit more particular about what I take Let's see what they have on this shelf oh there's another duck someone must have got rid of their duck collection <laughs> oh a pineapple candle that's cute I actually have a lot of inventory stored away that I need to pull out. I've been collecting for the last couple of years and need to start. Um, actually, I have started going through it a little bit and listing it, but um, I have plenty of inventory. It's just the shopping is so much fun and I don't want to miss out on the treasures that are out there in the thrift stores. It's a lot of fun to go hunting for them. Another cute little trinket slash jewelry box. Sweet little ducks on it. There's a, um, a Takahashi. Yeah, Takahashi uh, Japan pomander or potpourri slash sachet ornament. I'm going to put that in the cart and keep looking. little figurines oh I was looking at that for something personal 
um, that I'm in my life, I'm doing something personal. <laughs> I thought a little trophy would be funny for my, my thing. This was a fun find, but unfortunate there was only one of them. That was a nesting um, measuring cup duck. So it's like a plastic. Oh, this this guy. I got to talk about this guy too. I didn't get him, but he's so cute. He looks like he's about to tell a really silly little joke. So cute. Anyway, those ducks are um, nesting measuring cups. And so the one I found was for one cup, but the other pieces were not with it. But... I took it anyway because I was hoping maybe I can find the others eventually, or maybe I'll just sell it on eBay as a replacement piece. Look at these pretty birds here. I think I'm going to pass on those. This is so cute. It's modern. And unfortunately, the flashing there is already starting to get scratched. But what a cute little candy. Um, like, I don't know what you call it, a dish in the shape of a candy piece of candy or a candy dish for your candy. I don't know. <laughs> that was kind of cute, but not something I want to pick up. A little kitty cat that was made of like rabbit fur or something. Okay, we're in the glasses now. Just do a quick search for any really cute pieces. Oh, I found a mug with one of those lids. It's a Hallmark Mug Mate lid to keep it warm. Definitely going to take that. That's a good vintage piece. Oh, and here's the mug section. One of my favorite places. <laughs> Not a whole lot of mugs today. Nothing that catches my eye right off the bat. Let's just look at some of the pieces here. Oh, this is cute. It looks like someone took their kid's artwork and had it pasted onto a mug or printed on a mug. That was cute. Sweet little mom mug. I don't know why I like this so much. Just uh, I like the colors of the fish. I like the design of the whole the whole design altogether with the words, and it's false graph. So I'm going to take a look at that. Another cute little mug by false graph. Curious brother Burns. Curious Burns meat snacks. I think I'll just leave that there. Oh, sweet. Somebody's photo of their dogs. <laughs> sweet little Scotties. 99 cents. This one's fun. Man cave. Hold on to that for a minute. Take a look at this We Can Do It mug. Like a history piece. Okay, I got away from the mug section and let's see what else they got on the on the shelf here. That's kind of nice shape. I like these kind of stoneware bake uh, bakeware dishes for uh, making small meals. Just throw some fish or chicken in there with some corn, put it in the oven. Just eat it, eat it straight out of the dish. Simple design. Look at that rabbit. Isn't that sweet? Oh, she's got a chip on the edge. That's too bad. But oh, it says Avon. Just going to leave that there. Okay. I'm kind of cracking up in the background, those clear glasses glass jars full of peppers and olives and whatnot. I always thought those would be fun if there was a zombie apocalypse. Zombie apocalypse. Um, stock up on those and eat, eat peppers. Anyway, strange little thought there. This is a sweet little Mikasa sugar dish with a tulip on it. I think I'm going to leave it there, but it's really cute. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. 
Made in China. No, nope. I'm going to leave it there. But I'm working my way to the back here. This is interesting. It's Ceramo Mix. Some ceramic. I'm guessing this is maybe like a tequila plant. Um, I'm not... Maybe it had tequila in it. I'm not real attracted to this. I wouldn't want to own it. But it's just kind of unusual. I'm going to take a picture of it. And I'm going to get a picture of the bottom here. And when I go home, I'm just going to look it up. Look up Ceramo Max and, and try to figure out uh, what this piece, just a little bit more history on this piece, what it is, what it was used for, how old it is. We're going to move on here. Some more mugs. Yeah, let's put this creamer back down with the matching pieces there. This is a little bit interesting here. Nice speckled stoneware there. Like a Asian design on it or something. Okay, plastic section, and we got some metal plates or charger plates. Let's look at those real quick. I'm going to pass on those, see what else they have. Oh, probably came from the duck collection house. Make sure this Nothing else under there, or see what the brand logo is. That's cute for Easter. That's a lovely dish. If it was ceramic, I might, maybe, might have given more thought to it, but it was plastic, and I'm just going to move on. This, oh, what's this? Oh, we have just some plastic trays, and then I'm already looking over at the cute little Easter dish here. Four dollars. I think I'm going to pass on that. Oh, what's this? A Sakura pumpkin uh, mug there. I believe Sakura is a pretty good brand, and it is half off, so it's only a dollar. I'm going to put that in my mug. Take a look at it. All right, we've got the metal section. This is actually a heavy ceramic piece. It looks vintage, but someone wrote all over it and put 2022 on it. But I'm thinking it's still vintage. But it's pretty heavy. I'm not gonna I'm not interested in trying to ship that. Cute little wooden piece boy on a, a tire swing. Silver. I know my mom used to have some of those, that, that silver plate with the teapot and stuff. So I grew up around that and was never drawn to it, never attracted to it. I don't know much about silver. This says quadruple plate. If anyone knows um, anything, Jennings and Brothers, if anyone has an idea if that's um, a good piece to pick up, please leave a comment and let me know. Um, any of these silver pieces, let me know. It's a cute little music box, but it was made in China. And I'm prone not to buy music boxes, usually because they're broken. Um, anyway, there's a cute little uh, pineapple candle. I would have been more interested in it if there was a matching one to go with it. Take a quick look back over here. Some String art. Oh, hello. <laughs> That's kind of sweet. Might be vintage. Nice little place to hang your keys, your dog leash, set it by your door. That's a nice plaque. That looks vintage too. A covered bridge. Well, this is kind of interesting um, subject decoupaged image of a train. It's like an old Goodwill sticker, so it's probably pretty old. A 23rd Psalm, that's always a good 
good poem or psalm that people like. I like the the design, the border around the poem. I think I'm going to take a look at that. I'm just going to look real quick in the small frame, see if there's any anything of interest or any embroidery, cross stitching, anything handmade. Oh, I see kitties. I'm working my way. Look at that. That's a vintage glass, glass um, cat image thing. That's cute. And what's this? Oh, it's like a metal, a metal sign. It says welcome. Um, I've heard that pineapple is kind of popular um, right now. So I'm going to take a look at this and see if I think that I could do okay selling on eBay with that. Okay, so this is my treasure chest. This is what I brought home from the store that day. First, we have the Mugmates Hallmark 1980s Friendship Mug, and it's got the ceramic lid to keep your mug warm. I'm thinking I could get about $8 for that. All right, next I have this ceramic miniature bear. It's got a hole on the top and the bottom. And when I looked at the other ones, they don't have the holes. So I don't know why it's got those holes there. If you have an idea why that might be, please let me know. It says 1975 Duncan Ceramics. I think because it's got those holes there and there's a few more of these bears without the holes on eBay. I think I'm just going to list this at three. I got it for 50 cents because of the half off sale. And then over here, I've got this miniature blue elephant. His truck is up, which is a sign of, I think, prosperity or good luck. It says Japan on his leg. Um, Two dollars. It was a bit much, but I thought, well, maybe I can either, you know, save, save this up and get a collection of little miniatures. Oh, and we're already moving on to the next thing. <laughs> so the elephant, I think I'm going to try to sell it for five dollars or maybe I'll wait. This I got for 50 cents. It's the palmander or the sachet, the potpourri sachet holder by Takahashi. I think I'm going to ask seven dollars for that. Nice little vintage ornament potpourri holder. This I looked it up on eBay. Um, there's only one on eBay right now for sale for um, twelve dollars. It's false graph. I just like it for some reason. Again, it's a mug. I like mugs. <laughs> so I think I'm going to list one, this one for $9. Um, yeah, because the other one's 12 and I do, well, I'll make a small prof of it, profit off of it, but uh, yeah. And then I did. I took, I took home the little duck. Um, there are a few of these. There's actually a couple different um, outfits that she wears. There's also like, you know, a, a rooster and a cow. Uh, I'm going to ask $6 for her. I'll try to get her cleaned up a little bit. Just taking a look at the tag again, trying to determine more information about her by looking at the tag. But she just, she's just kind of cute. And then I picked up the mug, the Sakura mug, got them for a dollar. So that was a pretty good price. Uh, I'm going to, I don't know what to sell them for yet. Um, I'm going to wait closer to Halloween to list him. And that was not a chip on the lid. That's just a manufacturing flaw. This girl, I need to figure out what she is, but it's got the holes in her little basket there. And I thought this is a great piece for people who want to, you know, throw their buds in it or their flower buds to clarify or like people who collect hat pins that'd be a, a cute little display to put your hat pins in it um, but if you happen to know more about her why there's holes in her basket please drop a comment and let me know and then there's my measuring cup one cup duck the one cup duck uh i think i might just try to list him as a replacement piece or I might save him. But if I list him, I'll probably list him for $7. All I found on eBay was, was full sets being sold. 
but he'd be he's just so cute I, I i wanted to rescue him and then i got the 23rd psalm it needs a little bit of cleaning up there nice little wall plaque got it for two dollars i just i really like the border it's kind of got a, a glitzy gold to it really beautiful design it's got a couple of watermarks unfortunately But yeah, I'll, I'll put him up for eight and see how he does. And then we've got the welcome sign. I couldn't find any signs like this on eBay. There's definitely pineapple and welcome signs, pineapple welcome signs on eBay that sell. So I think I'm going to list him at 12 and see how that does. And then I picked up the, the old kitty with the beautiful eyes. I need to... Uh, clean up its bow a little bit and um it's got like a mark on his ear i think it's like a pencil mark i think i think magic eraser will get that out I'm trying to focus in on it but my camera's being stubborn and then again that's not a chip in the ceramic that's the paint was chipped off just the paint but she's just really sweet so yeah we'll try uh, ten dollars for her beautiful eyes And then I took home the duck planter or duck pot. It looks like B N D or B U D B D D or maybe it's even 800. I don't know, but it says Japan on it, and it's just your your classic 80s piece. So I'll list him for nine dollars. And then. This guy didn't come, this pepper shaker didn't come with his, his pear, his salt shaker. Uh, it's a very lightweight, it's, it's wood, I think, but it's so lightweight and it kind of has a feel of, um, almost like a plastic. Um, but I think I'm probably just going to hang on to him for a little while. I just like that, kind of like that mid-century shape, that, those beautiful curves, this, the simple lines. So I thought I'd just grab him and hang on to him for a little while. So that's everything from that haul. Thank you so much for watching. Please, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment. Let me know what you like to do for vent for shopping. Um, let me know if you saw anything you were interested in, and I would really appreciate it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, also you can email me. I'll put my email address at the end of this uh, video here. But I really appreciate your participation and watching and supporting the channel. Thank you so much. You have a good day now. Bye-bye.